Hey guys, Dark Cycle on FPV, and I'm getting ready to do the real quick build here for you to get this out to a customer today. Let me show you what I'm working with. This is the Rapture. This is the five inch Rapture right here. And I'm gonna show you guys basically how we put it together. We've got our four braces, our two bumpers, which are gonna be right here, our, our, our third brace in the center. Then we've got our four arms right here and our top plate, and we've got our standoff. So I'm gonna do this really quickly because we're trying to meet the deadline to get it shipped out today. But I figured I'd show you guys how this works. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start by putting our arm, lining it up, and putting the front bumper underneath just like that. And we're gonna put it, get the screws to go through the front here. Um, I did adjust the screw length, so I'm just gonna actually uh, grab these as I go and make sure that I have the right ones for what we need. So we've got five uh, and 11, uh, so I think a 12 mil screw, because we've got six millimeters between the two bumpers here, and we're gonna get to the standoff. So that should be a good. So we're gonna put one 12 mil screw right here. I'm gonna tighten that down. We might be able to go to a 14 mil, but let me just see what a 12 mil, I'm, I think I may do a 14 mil actually. Let me try that real quick. So I put a 14 mil here because even if it has just a little, protrudes just a little bit, uh, that's not gonna be an issue. Yeah, I like that right there. So we're gonna do a 14 mil just for, to get the most grip out of that um, uh, piece right there. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna line that up. Uh, and then we're gonna take the other arm, line it up as well. And again, we could use a 12 or a 14. I don't mind it sticking up just a little bit. Uh, I guess ideally if there was a 13 that would be more ideal, but to be honest with you, I'm not worried about this. Uh, I do like to get as much grip out of those as possible. All right, once we have the front arms in just like this, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our 16 uh, mil and we're gonna run that through uh, the front here just like this. Okay, there we go. And we're going to take our other 16 mil, run that through the front here, just like this. This is a very strong frame. I'm going to tell you guys right now, the fact that there's 11 millimeters of carbon fiber in the front of this for impact is just awesome. All right, so once we do that, we can take our camera, our 3D print, which I've already got the 20 mil standoffs in. We can start tightening that down. There's one. We'll do the other one now. Okay, and you know, I'm not gonna tighten them too tight only because they're just gonna keep spinning now. So we put the top plate on. Those arms are solid, all right? Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take the, uh, we can take the rear arms. The same thing, they're gonna go in the same direction, just like this. And now you have your rear bumper. It's gonna go just like that. Very simple. And you're gonna use the same uh, size screw here. So we're gonna use the 14s. And if you want to put a small, I mean, if it bothers you about the half mil that it's sticking up past the, um, uh, the, um, oh my God, what is it called now? I cannot remember, the, 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 the press nuts. Uh, uh, it's about a half mil, uh, but then you can put a small spacer if you want, or a small washer. I don't, I honestly don't care about that at all. Um, knowing that I've got all those teeth uh, going through it is pretty much my, is a good feeling for me, so I have no problem with that. All right, we're going to take the next one, put it here. Basically, we're going to do the rear arms the same as the front arms, just like this. All right, line up those holes right there, and you will send another 16 mil through there. Well, I tell you again, so now you've got 11 millimeters of carbon fiber in the back here. And this is the frame, exact same frame that I was able to get about 20 minutes of flight time on. Uh, this is the five inch version, but the four inch version was able to fly the same size, uh, well, very close to the same size props uh, with a few modifications, but all in all, they're pretty much the same. Everything is identical except uh, the arm width. Okay, so there we go, we got the arms on. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our brackets or our, uh, right here, our braces, I mean. So we're gonna put our, our, our center brace right here Okay, and the longer brace goes to the back, just like this, all right? And so for that one, we're gonna add another 16 mil screw. Okay, and actually for this one, we may even go larger, hold on. Let me see if I have it here. Uh, where am I with these? Yeah, we're gonna go a little bit larger because we're going through uh, Quite a bit of material here, so let me just make sure that I have it exactly how I want it. 
me see. That may be too long. Let me check this real quick. Well, that's going to fit nicely. So we're going to use that 18 more right there. And then what you'll notice is this is going to sit right here, and you'll use your motor screws for that. Um, so uh, I will uh, leave that like this, but you will use your motor screws to get into that. That shouldn't be a problem there at all. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the next 18. Uh, here it is. Make sure this right. yep. Go through this side here. Okay, got our next standoff on here, right here. Oops. Okay, never mind. I forgot to put my brace on. Okay, we'll put our brace. The long brace will go right there. So put this in just like this. There you go. And that's how that'll fit, just like that. And then again, when you put your motor here, you will use a longer screw to your motor there. Now we'll do the front brace real quickly. And again, this one's going to go just like this. So let's take another 18. Okay. This one here. There you go. And that will fasten to right here. Just like this. Okay, and then we'll take the next one. We'll go to right here. Okay, put that on. All right, perfect. Then when you put your motors on, those will fasten in place perfectly. You'll be able to lock those in without any issue. All right, and then what we're gonna do next, so for right now, I'll just leave these folded out because we're not gonna be attaching them. Then the next thing to do, the last thing to do really, is to take your top plate, put it on, and on this one, we used eight mil, but I think I'm gonna see if I can use a 10 mil on here. I don't know if the 10 mil is gonna be too long or not, so I'll let you know very quickly. No, 10 mil works, so we're going to change this so that it's using 10 mil to hold the top plate in. Okay. And I'm going to since this is pretty much done, what I am going to do is now that we know the 18 mil will fit, I'm just going to take those four 16 mils out and put 18 mils in those places as well because the more we can fill up a standoff, the stronger the standoff is. So there's our, eight, there's our 10 mils there, which is an upgrade from the 8 mil that we were using. So might as well go ahead and reinforce those standoffs even more by adding in an extra 2 millimeters of material. So that'll take only two seconds to do, and then you'll see the final product here. So there is the quad itself. If we had motors on here, we would fasten our braces right now, but we don't. Um, all right, so all I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna remove these ones real quickly. These are the 16s, and we're just gonna go with 18s. Okay, so let's do that, because that's definitely gonna be an improvement. Perfect. So it's going to be 18 and 14 on the bottom, all the way around, and it will be 10 on the top, all the way around. So we have now just two sizes to work with, and that's perfect. Okay, there's that. We take those, and we only have two more to do, and we're done.
There's the other guys. So there you go. Now, if I was to bring these arms up, up like this, and then bring these down, this is your frame. Completely assembled. I just need to tighten this down, I guess. Completely assembled and ready to go. These will bolt in when the motors go in. There you go. There you have it right there, guys. Awesome frame, super strong. I mean, extremely strong. Front bumpers, 11 millimeters. Back bumpers gives you 11 millimeters. Three millimeters on the braces, five millimeters on the arms, three millimeters on the top of the bottom plate. All right, so there it is right there. Uh, this is heading out today to its new home. Hope you enjoy this one. Let me know what you think about it. And again, you get a lifetime warranty on it, guys. Check out more about that at cyclonefpd.com. And as always, please follow us. Appreciate your time, guys. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.